Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. My name is Luna, and this is Dark Souls, the original. Alright then, welcome back to Dark Souls, the original, uh, with me, Luna. And uh, last time out, we just went through the tutorial area of the asylum. We got here to the... Uh, this, uh, what, what's this place called? I can't remember now. I've lost it. Anyway, we grabbed a few things... We spoke to uh, the Crestfallen Knight there, and now we are going to go off this way. In fact, um, that's the way that we're meant to go. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to go the back way here first time around. No, no, we won't do that this time. We'll, we'll go the we'll go the way that we're meant to go next. Uh, next. When, when we get to where we want to go, then we'll we'll turn around and go back. So, I, I, it makes no sense, I know, but uh, it will make perfect sense later on. So, um, we've got to uh, backstep everything in sight. Uh, there's a guy up here just, just pelting these uh, things at us. Take him out. And take that guy out. He fell over. Alright. And there is a ring down here that uh, we're going to get. So we need to drop off here. It's kind of a... It's it's not a risky jump, but it's it looks risky when you do it. This is kind of like... Yeah, coming around this edge, <laughs> it makes your heart uh, get palpitations, but it's not really that too, not not really too bad. So we got the ring of sacrifice there. There is just the one occasion in the game where we n will need that ring. Ow! Oh no, you don't. And we'll just uh, pillage this corpse, and off we go. There are no life gems, of course, in this first game. You just have to make do with the flasks. I think that's one of the main things that makes the game harder, honestly. Um, especially when you play through the first time, because there are also significantly less bonfires in this than the uh, Dark Souls 2. So you can find yourself running around like I am on half health uh, with no Estus flasks and you know 50,000 souls and thinking oh my god oh my god where's the bonfire that's uh, something that I didn't really get in the second game that kind of uh, feeling but as I said before we're not here to debate about uh, what is better or not that was just uh, an observation Yeah, I was hoping for a backstab there for the invincibility frames. There we go. Short sword. We're not going to bother with that. And we're going to just take this guy out. He's going to throw a uh, bomb at us. And there is a guy in here who's going to wander out eventually. There we go. Now there's an item down there that you can see. We're going to grab that. Right now. Large soul of a lost undead. And then we're going to come around here. There's this guy. We're going to take out with a single swipe. Get up here. There's another item here. Another little soul. Lost undead. I think they're like 200 or something like that. But... As I said before, every soul is precious right now. You'll see these guys climb over. Can't actually do anything until they're up. Although these guys are pretty weak, they they will mess your shit up if you're not careful. So, there is that. Down here, there are some more guys who are just hanging on the edge. But these guys you can knock off. And you'll probably notice how the uh, 
stamina regens a lot quicker in this game. Uh, rubbish will get us, I believe, a slab from Snuggly the Crow, who I showed. Um, I showed you his location in the last video, just past the Undead Asylum. There's a uh, little nest there, crow's nest. I'm gonna go back there later on. You can drop drop stuff in uh, Snuggly's nest, and uh, he will give you rewards. And he gives you a reward for rubbish, and the reward he gives you is a Titanite slab, which is very nice. So we're gonna just go through here. There is no boss through this uh, fog gate, just uh, through to the next area. And here we have a little cool scene. The Hellfire Drake scared the shit out of me first time I saw it, as I think it did most people. We're going to try to uh, pull some guys here. This guy with the crossbow, we have to uh, watch out for him because. Uh, It'll just pick us apart from distance if we're not careful. That's why we're just going to play it safe, draw these guys in. Dual wielding isn't really an option in this game as opposed to the second game. Um, and shields seem to be a lot more of a viable thing in this game. Now there is a guy coming up behind me here. Here he is. Now he's dead. Did this guy drop anything? Look at this message. It's just like... Wow, that's pretty cool. Enemy head. So... People obviously are still playing this game online. Um, can I get in here? Yeah, the master key opens up this door. There is like a, a shitty, and I mean shitty shield here, wooden shield. So there is that. These enemies here, the spear shield dudes, um, as in the uh, first game, are some of the most annoying enemies in the game. The best way to deal with these guys is the uh, kick. Uh, unfortunately, I fell off the staircase then. And of course, the backstab sorts those fuckers right out. There's a guy just hiding here behind the bookshelf or the uh, armoire or whatever you want to call it. Come on then. And now he is dead. And we have our first merchant. Well now, you seem to have your... Then you are a will. I trade for some... <laughs> um, and what are we going to buy from him? We're going to buy the residence key. And I want the um, short bow. So, what I'm going to... Shut up, you. I'm going to have to get some... Uh, burn some soul packets here. I've got a few going, quite a few by the looks of it, nine, uh, nine lost, of a lost undead, five humanities, so un unfortunately they did fix this in the second game but unfortunately um, you can only burn one at a time in this game, which kind of is a little tedious honestly, but um, there you go, that's just how it is. So I'm just going to burn through these. I'm going to grab the short bow off of him. And I'm going to grab uh, some arrows. Actually, I didn't really need to buy the residence key. I could have just killed him and he drops it. And he also drops the katana, which is uh, one of the best weapons in the game. If, you know, if you're into that. Fast uh, dex weapon. Does decent damage. So, there you go. He, he, I think he calls it Yulia. Yulia? Yulia? What was that about? Oh. So, um, we're going to buy the short bow. And we're going to buy some just standard arrows. I 
don't think we're going to need that many. Let's get like a hundred. 121, that's good. Thank you kindly. And I am going to kill him, <laughs> just uh, because. Uh, this is a uh, katana. Originally, this was the only merchant that you could buy arrows from, so um, there was a real thing about killing him. But um, now other merchants sell arrows, so it's not a big deal. You can just obliterate this guy early game, take his Uchi. And as you can see, he's uh, not tough. He drops the Guidance Soapstone and the Uchi Katana. The Uchi Katana, as I said before, is a really nice weapon. I won't be able to use it. Um, unable to use. So let's uh, just uh, have a look at the, the stats for this. It scales B with Dex, as you can probably see. Um, it does it does good damage. You need 14 strength and 14 dex to wield it. So I do not have the dex to be able to wield it. This thing weighs five. It's pretty fast. Um, it's also got a good reach on it. Has a nice stabbing attack. A good weapon. A very good weapon. Um, definitely a, a, a very good weapon if you have not beaten this game and you're coming through for the first time. A nice weapon to be able to use for your first playthrough makes things a little easier. It doesn't isn't like fantastic against everything, but it's a really good all-round weapon, and uh, is also uh, nice with uh, a bit of lightning applied to it. If you don't want to go like full-on decks, all right so we're just going to come down here kill these hollows and uh, grab some more items there's no sprinting up ladders in this game so you just have to climb slowly um, you will be able to see more and more there's throwing knives which are always handy like um, areas down there is we're going to go down there the lower the lower on Deadburg, I think it's called so uh, Thing, every, anything you can see in this game you can reach it's uh, very the, the level design like I say is just it's, it's unbelievable it's really fantastic okay so we're gonna just run and jump off of here and we're gonna get a pretty useless item here I think it's the crossbow but I'll just show you how to get that thing anyway of course crossbows are crap apart from the Avalyn which is a uh, pretty damn good and the Avalyn is extremely difficult to get in this game extremely difficult there is a way of getting it um, which is kind of utilizes a bit of a glitch um, but it's still not easy it's, it's a tricky thing to, to get so now we're going to move on and up here we have another bonfire and it's very hard to see but there is a ladder there that ladder is a shortcut and we will kick that to knock down so we're just going to take uh, a nap here at the bonfire and uh, then we'll move on all right then moving on and uh, you see I've got a humanity in the top left and my soft humanity um, if I have 10 humanities it gives me the apart from using the covetous gold serpent ring the maximum amount of chance of uh, drops I got that from just a random hollow these hollows do drop humanities very rarely but they do drop them okay there's this guy here we'll just take him out with one smash uh, the hollows as you can see they regenerate just like in the second game when you rest at a bonfire unlike the second game they continue continually uh, regenerate they don't just um, uh, regenerate whatever it is six or seven times and then uh, stop regenerating they they continually spawn so there is that I did mean to level up my decks here because I needed a 12 uh, to use the bow so that was something I forgot. I did 
thought I might have some more sub packets, but I don't. So let's uh, see if I can get my decks up here to 12. Yes, I can. So I, I did that quite well. And also, I want to talk about the uh, the burden because um, mm, this guy's going to give me this time. Little backstab for you, bitch. I do want to keep my equipment load down below 25% in order to be able to fast roll as you can see uh, in the middle column third stat down equipment load I am at 13.7 of 54 54 being the max and 25% of 54 is 13 and a half so I am over what I need to excuse me be able to do the fast roll now I'm going to equip the bar, I've got just random hiccups here and take that off and now I'm at 12.4 so just by taking the gloves off and you'll see my rolls are a, a lot better and uh, I'm going to use my bow straight away with these guys. Another thing I like in this game which they didn't have in the second game is you can zoom in with the bow. And two bow shots will kill these guys. I mean, it's not like a big deal, but um, it just uh, it just helps. Honestly, it just helps. Every little thing helps, right? So this is definitely a game that's. Um, oh my god! Is it just going through him? You want to be a little bit more cautious in this game than in the first game I think just because of the fact that um, this guy just is ignoring the door which suits me fine um, it is a little bit more unforgiving and a lot of that is down to the fact that you you're just relying on your Estus Flask you don't have the limitless heals that you would have um, with uh, you know life gems there are no life gems so you need to be a little bit more careful with this game and that's probably the one thing that makes it a little bit more harder so now I don't have those guys throwing shit at me so that helps and I only have this guy to deal with instead of three now there is another little shortcut um, just down there I can jump down there there is an item which you can see that's a ring there's a black knight there black knights are pretty pretty badass um, especially at this low level that I'm at but they can drop really good stuff black knight swords black knight halberds halberds um, and uh, twinkling titanite that kind of stuff so they're worth taking out they are definitely worth taking out that uh, power attack with the axe is really good we've got another a little item here in the chest black fire bombs we can use these fire bombs to take out the black knight actually we can also use our bow and we're gonna do that we're gonna cheese the absolute shit out of the black knight um, as you'll see later on there's one of these guys this guy here he's the one that's been throwing fire bombs at us so we're gonna take him out and uh, the other guys we can just uh, wreck with our axe like this uh, there's a tower here that has a crossbow dude in and he will s smash you in the back if you do not take him out here uh, we are going up there up that staircase just where my head is and so we have to go down there and he'll hit you in the back as you go down there if you don't take him out so got to take that guy out and uh, now we're going to come up here these were the guys that were throwing firebombs on the bridge there were three of them we've killed two there's just this one guy left and uh, oh, that was a miss and uh, okay he's dead 
they can drop fire bombs, which is nice. We're going to come back up here in a second when we take on the Black Knight because he doesn't like climbing ladders. In here is a very useful item. It is the uh, Gold Pine Resin, which is for a lightning, so that's good. And there's a spear guy there. I'm trying to hit him with my bow. Yeah, not to great effect, but he's on his way. Three Gold Pine Resin cannot be sniffed at. Just pummel that bitch down. Now, there is, uh, that's the staircase we're going up. If you look, uh, if we look with our bow there, we can see that there's a guy and he's right behind that barrel. The barrel is another one of those traps, just like in the uh, the Undead Asylum, there was uh, the uh, the trap with the, the boulder. It's kind of a similar thing, except this is a flaming barrel. Um, I, I need to be slightly to the left with my arrow shot that will uh, sort that out so he will not hit me with that thing and uh, I can uh, take him out here and that guy and we're just moving on to the first I guess uh, well, I, I want. I was going to say real boss of the game. He's not, not a real boss or such. He is a boss, but um, he's not um, super tough or anything. Now, it is possible to sneak up on this guy. It is possible, and to get a backstab in, it's. Uh, all right. I didn't manage it. But he's after me, that's good enough. That's what I wanted. Now I can just like dance around and just backstab this guy. He's got a lot of health and he will kill me in probably two shots. So there is that. I can use the fire bombs on him, which I am going to do. And uh, what I'm going to do here is just uh, get over here where is he? there he is sometimes he will block the... sometimes he will miss he's kind of going... he's trying to hit me from inside the building there Yeah, see, so block that one. Um, I do have more fire bombs. Uh, the black ones are the more powerful. Unfortunately, I only hit him with two of those. But uh, there you go. It's okay. What I'm going to do actually is. Um, suck down on some humanity um, and I might get a lucky drop here so let's uh, do that so we'll just suck on these as I said uh, and you can see that the humanity heals you as well uh, 10 soft humanity will give you the, um, the maximum chance of uh, a good drop without resorting to the uh, crested gold serpent ring or the uh, the strange chest face thing um, all right so this is ultimate cheese I know but um, as I said before this guy is tough for this early game let's just plunge this bitch if I get a chance yes there we go well he dropped me a chunk so that's good so the way this game works um, 
unlike Dark Souls 2, you can upgrade your weapons to plus 15, not just plus 10. And um, so you use uh, regular Titanite shards to plus 5, uh, and then large Titanite shards to plus 10, and then you use chunks to plus 15, or plus 14, and then you need a slab for plus 15. I think what we are going to do is uh, take the halberd and uh, infuse it with lightning and go that route so yeah we'll not be relying so much on our stats hopefully um, this video might be a little bit longer I'm just looking at the time here there is a um, a uh, twinkling a tie a, a crystal lizard there we're just going to kill this boss, hopefully not mess this up badly, and um, then we'll call this uh, this video good. This is another thing. I did not see these guys the first time I came through here, um, and that was not good. because they just shot me in the back while the boss was pummeling me so they, they dropped the crossbow there is what am I going to do here I'm going to take off this so that I have the uh, and I don't need the shield because the shield will do me no good here you can slide down ladders in this game the boss is going to come from that tower so as soon as he jumps we are going to turn around and run back like this and we are going to get a uh, a cheesy hit on him as I said before we cannot sprint up the ladder and sometimes he does hit you on this ladder and sometimes he jumps up here if I uh, mess around too much he will hit, hit me up here not this time though Yeah, so this boss, there are, there, I think just about every boss in this game is, is uh, can be killed uh, pretty easily, if you know how, and uh, this is how you kill this boss easy, I mean he's not terribly tough, but um, he's going to hit me again, will he hit me again though, that's the thing, okay, maybe not. Oh, he jumped down. He jumped up. Okay. That's a shame because I got my double hit in there as well. That's fine. Let's uh, just take him on here. Now oh, that did hurt. He might fall off the edge here. He does that sometimes. to see what's going on here all right it's all good oh, oh, oh. he's probably gonna hit me on the ladder again yes he is I am making a right mess of this boss honestly this boss is not difficult And I think that's him dead. Try punching attack, yeah. There you go. So, yeah, I made a meal of that. I really did. Not a difficult boss. But uh, he's down. And uh, we're moving on. And that is going to be it for this video. We're going to leave it right here. And uh, we're going to be going through down there onto that bridge next time around so I'll see you then and we'll also be meeting some bro so there's that to look forward to right on thanks for watching see you next time